Hi, and thanks so much for joining me today. We are talking about this product by Hourglass. It is their Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. It says it's a buildable tinted gel formula infused with microfibers to provide instant color volume and definition for bold, fuller looking brows. Paired with a unique dual sided brush, this volumizing formula helps you achieve your desired brow look from perfectly sculpted to perfectly untamed. That actually is a really good description from sculpted to untamed because you can definitely go on either end with this product. It's a soft hold flexible formula infused with microfibers to create fuller looking brows that never look too precise or overdone. Dual sided brush features short and long bristles to apply formula in varying intensities, making it easy to achieve perfectly sculpted or natural looking untamed brows. Provides an even application of color and long lasting comfortable wear without smudging or flaking. Of course, it's designed to work with their other products as well. And I wasn't sure about the color because I was just looking online, but the dark brunette is a really nice match. I like my brows to be a little bit on the cooler end, but online it looked a bit warmer, but I think this is a really great color. I don't think any of the other colors would have worked as well. And here's the brush. So they're talking about the dual sided. You've got a short side on the top there and then the longer bristles are on the bottom. It's no secret that Hourglass is one of my favorite lines out there because they put so much thought and intent in what they create. And this is no exception to that. I really love this product and I am wearing it today. Although one thing I have to say is that my brows are sparse. So I really do need a little bit more than this, but it has eliminated one step. So typically I'd go in with the Wonder Brow, then a fiber gel formula, and then also a pencil. In this case, I've just used the Hourglass product and then a pencil just for more precision because I am very sparse. You'll see in a moment, I have no eyebrows on, I mean, I have eyebrows, but I don't have any eyebrow makeup on and you'll see the difference that it makes. Another of my issues, aside from the sparseness, is that some of my hairs are a little bit unruly. Before eyebrow products came out, I used to use mustache wax to try and train them. So if you'd like to see the application of this and hear some final thoughts, please keep watching. So as you can see, it makes quite a difference to not have eyebrows. So I'm gonna take the Hourglass product in Dark Brunette. So I'll use the more short bristles and I'll start in the middle here. And I wanna get that arch going. Sometimes I have a few unruly hairs that don't wanna go in the direction I want them to go in, and they're usually right in here. And I'll go ahead and get on end here with whatever's left. And then finally, I'll work my way up to the front because if I put too much here to begin with, it can look a little bit severe. So it just shapes the brows nicely on that first pass. Get on the other side. I do have some sparse areas as well. And this helps to fill those in. I definitely see the turkey's part is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second pass right here and build it up. You can see you get that feathery brow if that's what you're looking for. I have been using the Glossier Boy Brow for probably a good year until this one. And what I like about this is that it definitely gives a more refined finish to the brows, even though they're feathery like this. What I like about these short bristles is that you can deposit some of that color onto the actual skin. So if you have any bare spots, you can get really close to the skin with that. And I'm gonna take the fluffier side now and just kind of fluff them up. So I really just take the short side to define the shape first and then I'll take the other side and build some more volume with it. So they're not stuck to my face per se but have some dimension. Now this would be good if I just had enough brow hair in the front here on both sides but since it's a bit sparse I do go in with a pencil and I use the Dior Show Brow Styler in 002 dark brown. That allows me to pinpoint some of those areas where I do have sparseness where that product doesn't really fill it in as well as I would like. Like right here, I just like have individual hairs <laughs> sticking out. So I do like to fill in and then anywhere else that's a little bit sparse, I'll go ahead and fill in. I find if I don't get this part right, then my brows look off forward pretty much the rest of the day. Also, this eyebrow is not as tall. It doesn't have as much hair from here to here as this one does. So then I also have to cheat that a little bit and fill in on the top. And then if I find that it kind of built up a little bit too much, like I see a spot right here, 
I'll just comb through it. Just to go over those claims really quickly, soft hold, yes, it's very soft, it's not crunchy at all. It's a flexible formula with microfibers. It does create that fullness, as you can see, especially on the top here. It says it never looks too precise or overdone, which I love. Dual-sided brush, love that it is dual-sided. I do use both sides of it. One, just to deposit more pigment closer and it onto my actual skin, and then the other one to kind of fluff them up and give them a 3D effect. And then it provides an even application of color and long-lasting, comfortable wear. Lasts all day with me. Haven't gone swimming with it yet, so I don't know how that would perform, but definitely no smudging or flaking throughout the day stays this way all day long. Don't have to worry about my brows. So if you have brows like me where they are sparse and somewhat unruly, this is a great product. I would definitely recommend it. And if you're the same coloring as me, the dark brunette is really a great, great match. I wouldn't pick another color over this one. I haven't tried them, but I don't have a reason to look for another color. If you found this video entertaining or useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. So if you found this video useful, blue so. So if you found this is their arch brow volume pinpoint any of the, of the, the hmm?